morning. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. Um, my name is Stephanie Taylor. I am the president of the Northern Wasatch Association of Realtors. Uh, I wanted to start by um, speaking for just a moment, and then we will have a flag ceremony. Um, have a seat for everyone. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, so in 1996, the Northern Wasatch Association of Realtors teamed up with the Northern Wasatch Home Builders Association and formed Have a Heart, a 501c3 charitable foundation with the purpose of helping families with special needs to achieve the American dream of home ownership. We did this because we firmly believe that home ownership is a fundamental solution to so many of society's challenges and because we understand that helping families achieve the goal of home ownership has a multi-generational positive impact. Since then, Have a Heart has remodeled or built 35 homes that continue to bless the lives of their owners and surrounding communities. When we became aware of the tragic loss of our dear friend, Brent Taylor, and the housing challenge that his loss created for Jenny and her kids, we immediately reached out to see if Have a Heart could help provide a permanent housing solution for her family. While there is nothing that any of us could do to bring Brent back or place someone like him in our community, perhaps there was a way that Have a Heart could help fulfill a void left by his passing. The need for his wife and kids to have a home that provide, provided them with the space and ongoing financial income that they would need going forward. We also saw this as a profound opportunity to symbolically thank Brent and the thousands of others who selflessly serve in our armed forces and do so much to protect and defend our nation so that it can be a place of freedom and liberty where home ownership and so many other dreams can be fulfilled. Judd Nielsen with Nielsen Homes jumped at the chance to help out with this project, just as they have generously done so many times before. By our count, Nielsen Homes, along with their subs and suppliers, have now built 14 Have a Heart homes. This amazing accomplishment under any circumstance is a lot, but to do it with such a busy market when builders are scrambling just to complete projects for their customers is simply amazing and inspiring. So we thank Nielsen Homes, the Northern Wasatch Association of Realtors, the Northern Wasatch Home Builders Association, and North Ogden City, who were all instrumental in making today happen. And we would like to take a few minutes to hear from each of them before we ask Jenny to share her thoughts. Uh, we'd like to start first, though, with a flag ceremony from the Ogden Army Recruiting Company. Uh, Congressman Blake Moore wanted to attend today, but he is stuck in Washington. We wanted to recognize Lisa Ross Kelly for coming in support of his office. Thank you for being here. Uh, we'd like to pass the time over to the Northern Wasatch Home Builders Association President, Troy Hassel. Thank you. I didn't realize I have to walk up here, so. It's a great to see everybody here today. We're, as the Northern Wasatch Home Builders Association, we're honored to be able to be at this event and to um, participate in this. Um, we're grateful for the, the Nilsen family for 
putting all their efforts into this and allowing this home to be in the parade um, to support our HBA as well. I know that the relationship between the Taylor and the Nelson family has been quite extensive and for quite a while and there's been a lot of support there. And as the HBA, we look for opportunities to support any way we can in the community. And we love it when builders um, step up and do it on their own. Um, but we are a resource there. We do have opportunities to serve others and, and give back as well. We have a full charitable contribution uh, committee that does a lot of these events as well. And um, anytime people want to get involved and do that, that's great. So as an HBA, we're here to support the communities. We're here to support our local builders, our trades, um, finding opportunities for ways to make their jobs easier, make it um, accessible for them to do their jobs and to provide beautiful homes to build beautiful communities. So thank you very much. Thank you, Chuck. We'd like to have Representative Ryan Wilcox please come say a word. It's hot. <laughs> it's gonna get hotter. I'm not, uh, you know, I thought about what, what to say the last week or so, and, you know, I, I can't help but think of Scripture. <laughs> it's not going to get all preachy on you, but the Savior of the world talked about how we measure our religion, whatever that is, and that's to take care of specifically the words of the fatherless and the widows. How do we care for the least of these? He was trying to inspire us to look at others the way he does. The problem I've had with that in reconciling that concept for today's uh, event is that these are definitely not the least of these. These are the best of us. In the government space, people come to us all the time to solve problems. Solve problems that we can't solve most of the time. And it's painful to have those conversations. But part of the problem is the government isn't the answer. We can't solve them, and we shouldn't. But when we step up and care for those, because we can, when companies voluntarily step up and recognize the need and take care of it, then we're fulfilling our hope as a community. Then we're fulfilling the original religious command when we voluntarily choose to take care of those who need it. So I'm so proud to be here. I'm so proud of this community from day one. I'm grateful for institutions, the, the Realtors Association, each of the contractors. I was hiking over from the church here, waiting for that shuttle that just got here. <laughs> it's one of the contractors who provided all the hardware and how proud they were that they, they were able to provide that piece of this home. That matters, that each of you that are here that have been a part of this stepped up to fulfill that need matters. And so I just, I thank you. I'm so grateful for you. I know that, uh, that the family is, and uh, again, uh, just appreciative of all that you do to help us to, to live up to our better angels. Thank you. to invite the uh, North Ogden City Manager, John Call, to come say a few words. I cry a lot, so. So I'm not a politician. So I don't like I don't like getting up in front of people. Um, I like to sit at my desk and do my work. Anyways, I'm sorry. Um, we just like to thank everyone who's come out today um, for Nielsen Homes, obviously in the community, um, everyone who served to help get this house done, and those.
those who help keep us free. Anyways, I apologize. You can blame Councilman Swanson. It's his fault I'm here, so. Um, anyways, thank you so much. And we're just so grateful so many would come out and support the Taylors, so thank you. I don't blame him for being moved. It's a, it's a beautiful story. We'd like to invite Jen Nelson from Nelson Homes to come up. Thanks, Jen. Thank you, Stephanie. This is, a, <clears throat> this is an amazing day. This has been years in the working um, and years in the, in the dreams of the uh, Taylor family. And, um, <clears throat> and it's, it's, uh, it's been an amazing thing to be a part of uh, when we were asked by the Have a Heart Home Foundation if we would participate the answer was immediately yes. Um, I'm fortunate that uh, that I'm just sorry. Glad you cried first. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm just carrying on the legacy of uh, Bruce Nelson um, that started this company and built 13 of these homes before it was my opportunity to do that. And so I wanted to uh, make sure to thank Bruce for for starting a soft explore. Also, um, there's a guy behind the scenes that makes a, basically all of these amazing things happen, and that's Mike Ostermiller. And uh, I think, you know, this was his this was his hard work put together over years and years of working on this, and um, has created a legacy of the, those 35 homes. That have helped families, and so I think Mike Ostermiller definitely deserves a big round of applause. Thank you. These homes are amazing to be a part of for a lot of different reasons, but one of the reasons is when we reach out to our community, our Nelson Homes community, and when I say that I mean our trade partners, our subcontractors and suppliers, and we ask them uh, to help participate in, in projects like these. Um, when we brought this project to their attention, the, it was the outpouring of um, charity was outrageous. Uh, there are companies that have donated their entire labor to this, their entire materials to this, some of them their entire materials and labor to this project so that we could get the, the cost down low enough that we could make a dream home um, something that's actually affordable. And so, um, you know, there's, it's, it's well into the six figures of donations that have happened from the people that built this home, and I think they deserve a special round of applause. Thank you. You know, I, I, I would get regular updates throughout the course of building the home, and some updates were from Jenny with pictures and how exciting, and it was so much fun, and videos and different things. And then, uh, and so it would always be like, yay, happy, this is fun. And then I'd get other updates of the donations coming in, and it would be the tears that you'd go, are you serious? They, or, you know, someone um, was that generous? So it was great. Um, a couple people, I, <clears throat> I just, I have to thank Nelson Holmes, our team at Nelson Holmes. We had um, Kurt Dixon that worked with all of our subs and suppliers on this project that spent hours and hours on this. And we also had Heidi Iverson that, is the reason that this made it through the <laughs> all of the hurdles that had to go through with her coordinating with our team and uh, they've done an amazing job to to make this happen so thank you to the team and to Heidi and Kurt. <laughs> Last, um, I wanted to thank uh, Jenny Taylor and Brent Taylor. Um, Jenny Taylor could not have made this process more fun and amazing. She's got to be one of the most gracious humans I've interacted with. There were so many hurdles and there were there was never frustration. It was just like, okay, what do we do next? What do we do next? And um, to, it, it, we were so excited to be a part of this and then being a part of it made it so much better than we could have ever expected. And, um, and so I, I have to thank you, Jenny, and, and um, 
And I have to thank Brent uh, for some reason. I, I really, I've tried to search for this as to why, but I, I've always had this love and appreciation for our country's military. These um, brave, patriotic people that love their country and love freedom go and they risk their lives so that we can be here in the United States and enjoy freedoms and um, luxuries that don't exist in most of the world. And they go there and in cases like this sacrificed um, their life for our lives and for our freedom. And you feel like you can never give enough back. And uh, this, this um, opportunity to be, be, be a part of this home has inspired our company that uh, we now want to build one of these homes every single year and build one of them in our communities and greatly discount them for veterans that have either families of veterans that have passed away or for veterans that are struggling. Um, there's <laughs> estimates that... Thanks, thanks. There are estimates that, that on any given night in Utah, there are 2,300 homeless veterans. And uh, you think about that and go, 2,300 people went and risked their lives for our country, and now they're back in our country, and they're not enjoying the luxuries that our country provides. And Nielsen Homes is going to do what part we can to, to help that situation. And again, it only comes back to Brent and Jenny Taylor in how amazing this project was and how gracious and grateful his family's been and how inspiring Jenny Taylor has been to me and to probably many of us here. And uh, so I thank you. Thank you very much. I try and stay away from things that make me tear up and uh, judges ruin that. So. Um, I would like to have Jenny Taylor come up and speak to us. Um, I, I dare you to find anyone who doesn't love this human being. She's humble and she's kind, and the community adores her, which is why all of you are here, so. Thank you. I'll never forget the day in December of 2018. It had barely been a month since my husband had been killed and I got a knock on the door from Robert Bolar. Is Robert here? He's our real estate agent that sold us the home in the backyard that came with all this extra land that my husband wanted to farm. And um, he knocked on the door with Jed Nielsen and his dad, Bruce, and they said, hey, we want to build you a home. And I just looked at him and I said, this is my home. This is, this is where we are. And the kids and I have memories here with Brent and we'll never leave this place because this was our only last place with him. And um, I, I kind of said thanks, but no thanks, and I was in a blur, and, and I remember Robert before he left, or maybe it was Jed, I'm not sure, he looked at me and he said, don't say no yet, don't think you know what we're offering you. And, you know, they tell you right after a, a major life event, don't make major decisions in the first little while, and so maybe six or seven months went by, and I talked with my sister, and talked with the kids, and started to realize how crazy life was, and I started to realize, we don't... We don't fit in this house, and, and this house isn't the right uh, space for us. And it's not so much that it's not the right size, it just wasn't the right space. And I remember the day we bought that house with Robert and Brent by my side. Um, we walked in the door. I can picture myself in the hall of the old house. I looked around the house. I said, this house is nothing like anything I've ever wanted, and I know we need to buy it. And I can thank only God above for knowing that later down the road, the land behind that darling 1980s Rambler would turn out to be such a blessing that we could divide it in a way that has turned out so beautifully that even when you go in the home, go to the deck and look at that mountain. Um, I was telling Steve this morning, the position of the house was actually uh, by default. Where's John Call in the city of North Ogden? We fought several different positions of how we thought we wanted the house to go with this cul-de-sac or this turnaround or how to position it. And this was kind of the last trial. We're like, okay, well, what if we put it like this? Will you say yes? And they did. And as we started to watch it being built and take shape, we realized that these beautiful windows and the beautiful deck, everything faces that beautiful Mount Ben Lomond, which for anybody from North Ogden, that is North Ogden. And my husband from his office at the city, just straight east of here, one day took a cell phone picture from his office of the flagpole at the city, looking at that mountain, 
and it's now etched in stone on his headstone. And it's the view from our kitchen, and my bedroom, and the basement, and the backyard, and the deck. And I just see such a beautiful hand of God and, and Brent's loving presence here with us. It's been so fun for the kids. We've watched it every single day. If you want a fun video, come find me. I'll show you Jacob in December when they broke ground. He was jumping up and down. He's my YouTubing 11-year-old, and he was like, this is the best day of my life, and they're digging the dirt. And we watched the concrete be poured. We watched the sticks be framed for the basement. We watched as the drywall came in and the insulation. The boys climbed in the rafters with their friends probably before they were supposed to. We watched the carpet and the paint come in and we got to the point where the kids weren't allowed inside anymore because we just can't break it in quite yet. Joey and Nicole from Nelson's design team have turned this house into a beautiful home. They've lovingly taken some of our mementos, some of Brent's items, including his uniform, souvenirs he's brought to the kids from around the world in his military service, and then mix them with the kids' likes and tastes and beautiful new furnishings that have made this house feel so welcoming. I've had so many friends and family members who've come through the Parade of Homes message me afterward and say, it just feels beautiful inside. It feels inviting. It feels like home. And so I'll always forever be grateful that we have this house and a roof over our heads, but this is so much more than a house. This to me is symbolism of, again, God's hand and Brent's hand continuing in our lives that this new house looks absolutely nothing like my old house and our new lives look absolutely nothing like the life the kids and I thought we had. You know, the day Brent and I bought that house eight years ago, I thought for sure someday we'd do an addition and add on and bring the grandkids, not knowing that the grandkids would only ever look at Brent's uniform in a shadow box and learn about him through YouTube videos and stories passed down. And yet this new life is beautiful. The new opportunities we've had are symbolized in this beautiful new home, which is actually far more beautiful than our old home. It fits us far more perfectly. It took us a couple years going back and forth with the city, and in that time, we had time to study that floor plan and tweak it just right and make it just so. And people will ask, how many square feet is that? I say, I don't know, but we're gonna use every square inch. And I know exactly how. We know where the kids will be. We know where the space will be used. We know where we'll gather as a family and bring my sister and my in-laws and my parents. Where the cousins and the aunts and uncles who are now my children's second set of parents will come and join them. Just we'll have some basketball hoops in time. We'll have some trampolines and aerial silks in time. We'll invite you all back when that's done. But above all, I just want to say thank you. Nothing makes me happier than to know that Nielsen will continue this tradition and help other families. Because I'll admit, when you talk about who has a huge debt to pay to America and the soldiers who lay down their lives for us, I feel like my kids and I have a pretty unpayable debt to pay to all of you and everyone else who's kept us on our feet for almost four years now. We have been given more blessings, more opportunities, more love, more charity, more support than anybody I know. And we will be forever grateful and we'll be working the rest of our lives trying to pay it forward in any way we possibly can. So I want to thank you for coming to our house dedication, but moreover, I want to welcome you to our home. People ask what's my favorite part, and I'll have to give you a list of like 20 things. For one, I love that there's a room to showcase Brent's uniform and, and his tokens from around the world, uh, the charity that's been shown to our family since his passing. For another, I love that there's a, a big gathering space, the large great room that looks over that beautiful mountain. There's a pantry. Like, let's just stop right there. There's a pantry, because my old house doesn't have a pantry. And this pantry is bigger than my current bedroom, so it's amazing. <laughs> There's a mudroom that has far too many hooks from a design perspective, but that's because we will use every single one of them. So when they asked if they wanted me to put in this many or that many, I said double it and add a couple extra, because we'll use them. Two dishwashers, like can you go wrong? Two dishwashers. It's got a beautiful theater room where we can gather on a giant sectional and watch movies or memories or, or spend time together as a family and pretty soon I'll have a giant dry erase board on the other side where I can like lecture to the kids and teach them all kinds of things in family meetings because that's the kind of school teacher mom I am. Uh, it's got a space for the teenagers to gather with their friends and play air hockey or foosball, completely separate from the toy room where the little people will play Legos and Barbies and stay out of each other's space. It's got a beautiful room dedicated to Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell, which might be obsolete by the time this dedication finishes. But maybe that signed jersey from his rookie year will someday be worth something because it's hanging on our wall. So I could go on and on. The gym, we can open this garage. It's a home gym space for the crazy people that I live with so all of us can have physical fitness and a chance to go run in circles in the winter when it's too hot or too cold to play outside. We will hang a couple aerial silks for my daughter who is a circus star. Many of you know that. 
and we'll have more trampolines than probably the city code allows, but I'm not sure they have a code for that yet. So shh, I'll invite you for a barbecue. But thank you, Jed. Thank you. Heidi, I love you. Heidi gave us this beautiful flag and the gold star flag to, play, to hang with it. To every tradesman and craftsman, I cannot tell you how excited we were every day you showed up. I know so many people building a house through these crazy times are like, we can't get concrete, we can't get lumber, we can't get our guy to show up. I'm like, huh, it's because they're all at my house right now. <laughs> we seem to have a lot of concrete. And every day someone was here. I don't think there was a single day in this process that somebody didn't show up and get to work. And every time we would look out and our hearts would just be so full and so grateful and so excited. So we can't wait until uh, the beds are ours. After everybody's come and taken a tour and we get to sleep there, we're gonna try not to bring too much stuff with us because it looks so beautiful without all of our things in it. Um, an empty house is such a beautiful thing. But thank you, I, I am forever grateful to all of you. I'm grateful to Brent for his service and the legacy that he's left us. Um, Almost every beautiful thing in our lives right now is because of him and his service. Opportunities like this, this home behind me, the car I drive, uh, the travel opportunities I have to speak or interact with other veterans or military members around the world. Um, it's all because I fell in love with the man who loved the country that I've loved since I was a little kid. So thank you, God bless you, and you're always welcome in our home. Thanks. Nielsen Homes has graciously provided refreshments for after, so please come and uh, enjoy and socialize and come in and see the home. Um, with that said, Bruce and Jed, I think it's time to hand over her key. This one may not fit the, the door. <laughs> oh, he's over there. Okay. All right. Hello. Yep, come here, I'll hold you there. Jonathan, you be right there by Mr. Nelson. Come over. Oh yeah, turn right around. There we go, we're looking good. Lincoln's grown like three feet, so. Look at the camera. Look at the camera right in front. You good? So many pictures. I just want to see the walk through. I know, right? <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Did you guys all meet? Did you guys all meet? Go to hey. Mr. Nelson. Hey, come say hi. Hi, this everybody. Is, this is Jed and Bruce Nelson. They're the hey. ones that hi. got you this house. Hey, give me a high five. High five. Where do you go? Where do you go, my dear? Oh, let's go. Let's go. Thank you. All right, you want to hold the key? Yep, you can hold the key. Oh, turn around. They'll take a picture of you. How can I hold it this way? She wants to turn back up. Let Caroline get a key. Oh, that girl's gonna go move in. She can't wait. How tall is she? Hey. Yeah, I think now we. Thank you to you all who worked to support the Have a Heart program and this event. And thank you for coming today.